so the video from yesterday did not age well. Um, I went to Petco to buy the stand for the BioCube, and um, I wasn't buying a BioCube stand. I was buying a Brooklyn tank stand, the 10 gallon one, and I was gonna use two of those side by side to basically create like a 20 by 20 cube. And um, I was pretty confident that that was gonna work. And uh, I still think it, it would have. Um, but when I got there, they had one of these 29 gallon stands in stock. And uh, this happened. So this morning I had every intention of setting up a 29 gallon bio cube. I uh, did a leak test and it seemed to hold water. Uh, it was in pretty good shape. Uh, but I went to Petco today to buy two of these 10 gallon stands from this style uh, to create a 20 by 20 cube. Uh, it would have been about 90 bucks. But I saw they had the 29 gallon version of this. And uh, I've been between a 20 gallon long and the 29 gallon bio cube for a while. Uh, but this sealed the deal. I guess there was some sort of clearance on this particular stand. It was 12 bucks, and uh, instead of spending 100 bucks on a stand, uh, I can I spent 12. So that'll be plenty of money for some filters and uh, some salt. So we'll see what we make with this. So I also had a reef club meeting at my house, and two of my good friends, uh, Francis and Brandon, they gave me the heater and the mag float, and uh, very generous of them. And uh, there was a guy in the club who sold me a 36 inch T5 fixture for really cheap with brand new bulbs. It's a little blue for my taste, so I'm probably going to swap out one of the bulbs for a daylight bulb. I then picked up some uh, live sand. I think it was like 15 bucks at Petco while I was there. And uh, I also picked up an AquaClear 70. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, the savings on the stand really made a lot of this possible, so stay tuned. Um, I'm still shooting for February to get the tank wet. I gotta see if uh, I still have some dry rock at my parents' house. And if I do, then um, we'll get to aquascaping, painting the back of the tank, etc. All that fun stuff. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully in a month or so, this tank will be wet. And I've already started looking at what clownfish I want. So for now, I think this docking is going to be two clownfish and a cleanup crew. And uh, we'll see what we can fit in there. So talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, probably tomorrow when I get the aqua clear in, we'll do another video. See how it looks.